Hello, I'm Dola, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show how we can troubleshoot pod status in Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service. Let's get started. To get information from the events history of your pod, run the following command. All the commands run below are in default namespace. If your resources exist in another namespace, add the hyphen n namespace flag for the kubectl commands to work. Based on the status of your pod, complete the steps in one of the following sections. Your pod is in the pending state. Your pod is in pending and container is in waiting state. Your pod is in the crash loop back off state. Let's start with your pod is in the pending state. Pods in the pending state can't be scheduled onto a node. We won't see a node name on the output of the describe pod command. This can happen because there are no nodes available. There are insufficient resources on the available worker nodes. Nodes have taints which pods can't tolerate. You have defined an occupied host port on the pod. When any of these are true, no nodes are available. When we describe the pod, we will see the no nodes available to schedule pods message. To resolve this, we must add new worker nodes to the cluster. To join manage worker nodes, log into the AWS management console. Select the cluster and go to the configuration menu. Choose the configurations and then select compute setting. Add node group. Enter a name for the node group. Add an AWS identity and access management role for the node. Select the instance type and size. Select node group scaling configuration. Choose next. Select subnets and add an SSH key. Choose next and then review it before creating. Choose create. Insufficient resources on the available worker nodes. This can be due to not enough available CPU, disk, RAM, pods on the worker node to accommodate the pods. Below is an example of a pod stuck in pending state because of insufficient CPU. To check available resources on the node, let's run and check the capacity and allocatable fields of the described node output. Below is a snippet of the output where we can see the current capacity and allocatable capacity of the node. The fields in the capacity block indicate the total amount of resources that a node has. The allocatable block indicates the amount of resources on a node that is available to be consumed by normal pods. Because we have insufficient resources on the available worker node, and the pod requires more resources, we can try to delete unnecessary pods and add more worker nodes. For example, your worker node can run out of CPU and memory. If this is a recurring issue, you can use Kubernetes cluster autoscaler to automatically scale your worker node group when the resources in your cluster are scarce. Nodes have taints that pods can't tolerate. Taints are used to restrict pods from being scheduled onto a node. The following example shows the output of the describe command for an nginx pod that is in the pending state. The pod is unscheduled because of a taint. To check what taint is applied to the node, we must describe the node and check for taints field. To fix this, we must add a relevant toleration to the pods or remove taints from the nodes. To remove the taint, run this command. Or add this toleration to your pod spec. 
you've defined an occupied host port on the pod. If you're defining a host port for your pod, the pod can be placed on the node where the host port isn't in use. That means we can have only one pod per node because the host port is unique for the entire node. Below is an example for a pod stuck in pending state because of the host port. If multiple replicas of the same pod must be on the same node, then it is best practice to not use host port. Instead, expose pods using service type, node port or load balancer. Your pod is in pending state and the container is in waiting state. In this state, the pod is scheduled to a worker node and can't go into running state. Your pod can be in waiting state because of an incorrect docker image or repository name, lack of permissions or because the image doesn't exist. The following example shows a pod in pending state with the container in waiting state because of an image pull error. In this example, the image nginx wrong image doesn't exist. To fix this, we must replace the image with a valid name. As the pod is a part of the deployment named nginx hyphen wrong hyphen image, the image must be changed at the deployment. Please note, if you are using Amazon Elastic Container Registry, verify that the repository policies allow image pull for the node instance role or verify that Amazon EC2 Container Registry read-only role is attached to the policy. Your pod is in crash loopback off state. Pods stuck in crash loopback off are repeatedly starting and crashing in a loop. The following example shows a pod in crash loopback off state because the application exits after starting. We must check the logs of the pod to understand what is failing. After running the logs command, we identified that the error is expecting an extra argument which was missing and to fix it we just need to make some edit to the pod spec to look for errors in the logs of previous pods that crashed run the following command please note for a multi-container pod append the container name at the end thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at aws